Hey everyone, we are back with another video. I'm C. Slee. And it's your girl, Lize. And today's video is a little different. Today, we are taking you through our journey through the infamous Museum of Sex in Manhattan. So if you guys like what you see, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to see us do more videos like this, then let us know in the comments. But without further ado, we're going to be showing you all our experience at the Museum of Sex. Yes, this video, we will be showing you things like the artifacts in the museum as well as the rides and the different games in Funland, which is the little amusement park inside the Museum of Sex. And let me tell you all, this was such an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. Right out the gate, I'm gonna tell you, it was definitely a 10 out of 10, and if you have the opportunity, you should definitely go. So we're gonna be trying our best to show you guys this experience from top to bottom. So right now, we're showing you all the terrain ride, because you know, the views on the train, sometimes they be really lit. And then, look at the pictures that we took on the train. Give it a second. Bam. Bam. Look at the glow. Everything popping. Lashes popping, brows popping, skin, hair. We were slaying throughout our whole trip. So now we're getting into the artifacts. And let me tell you, nothing in this museum was conventional. And I think that's definitely what I love. Mm -hmm. These things are not really, or these uh, artifacts were not really something that people are generally talking about when it comes to sex. And I think that that's what I love the most about the museum. Like it really encapsulated everything that sex could involve. Yes. From different kinks to different toys to, to the history to different sexualities. It was just so informational. And don't hesitate to pause and give some of these descriptions a gander. And yes, now we are showing you guys Becky with the good hair. Okay. <laughs> when I first saw this doll, I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. Let me read this. When did they make this? So just make sure that you guys are taking time to pause and read the descriptions. And a lot of the artifacts that we saw were really, really, really cool. Like, just giving you guys a second to go ahead and read that. Those were so cute. Not, not the costumes and the accessories. And that's another thing that I really liked about the museum. We got a chance to see the history of sex and how it evolved and all of that good stuff. So I thought that that was a really cool thing for us to see. Yes, so... Like I said, do not hesitate to go if you can. And also, too, I would love to see what you think some of these artifacts are. Like, what because, is this? Yes, give us, give, give, give it your best shot. Because for me, I was looking at some of these artifacts and having no idea what they were until I read the description. I'm like, what? Um, How? Why? You know? Even though we're not going to yuck anybody's yum, because that's not what the museum is for. It's just, you know, I was some some of these artifacts made me think about lost. how far the body can be pushed. Yeah. You know? Oh my god, look at this figurine. She was so cute. Like I'm like, this would definitely be something I would have up in my room, but in another lifetime. Not this one. But she's cool for, you know, if somebody wanted to have that. And now we're about to show you guys. Look at Azay. Look at how cute Azay is. First of all, look at the hair. Do y'all Y'all can't even conceptualize the, the thickness and the just amazingness of Azay's hair. And she gave y'all the blueprint. A tutorial for how we grew our hair is already up on my channel. So please be sure to go ahead and give that a look. Because as you can see, our natural hair, our 4C, our real 4C natural hair is thriving. Okay? Thriving. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that video out. Yes, and this is just one of the games in Funland. Um, and now we're going back to some of the exhibits. Y'all should know what that is. You know, it's a plug. <laughs> like, you know, and yes, like the Museum of Sex was so like educational and it was so fun. Like, I, we weren't there like, oh my gosh, you know. I'm so bored or yeah, oh my goodness. There was never a dull moment because there were so many things that you could learn from and look at. And like, I really love this museum and I, this is, this is why I love museums in general, because you learn so much. And also, look at this headgear. This, this was really fierce. Cool. I'm like, whoever's putting that on, kudos to them, because look at that. You can't see nothing. Where are the eyes? They said, look, I want a fully immersive experience. And that's, <laughs> I'm like, hey. It was a little feather on top for me. Ooh. It was really cute, period. Not the plume. Yeah, so 
it was just really like I really can't explain it like you just have to go like if you can and if you can't like I'm telling you there were multiple floors of art of artifacts and there were multiple floors of exhibits like there was even one um it's coming up later but there was even one exhibit by this well by this um like radical queer feminist woman who were who was like one of the first people to kind of popularize like female masturbation and just lesbian sex in general and it was really 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 interesting and there was a whole like documentary playing in the museum of her speaking and just talking about her life and why she started and how many women's lives she changed by her work by her work and it was just really empowering it was really really cool and i think that that was another one of my favorite exhibits and there's so many floors to explore and also too i think that the exhibits and stuff change um, at different times of the year so I, don't, I really don't think that there's ever really a dull moment also look at this contraption here and give let me know it's giving pause he, this and guess to see what this is because giving, he liked the way i write it because what is that i tell you i did not know until i read it so yes go back a few seconds and pause and give it a gander before you look at what the little description says because it was so much fun yeah there were so many treats and there were so many little easter eggs at this museum and it was just a breath of fresh air like it didn't feel this was not a like a born museum like omg when can i get out of here like this museum made me made me say like i, I want more like what else can i explore what else is there and to see? be sure to pause it right here so you guys can see and read more about the person who made one of our favorite exhibits in this museum um and this was one of our favorite art pieces and just look at the detail i thought that it was so so pretty and i love color y'all know orange and pink and all of those things i love color and um her exhibit was filled with color it was filled with so much fruitful information it was filled with a very very great um documentary movie that you could sit down and watch in the middle of the exhibit like everything about this part of the museum was really 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 cool we couldn't put everything that we saw in the museum in this video that's why we're saying please if you have the chance go ahead and check the museum out because we had so much fun and this was Azay's one of Azay's favorite um series of art pieces from this specific exhibit and as you can see they were really nice and another thing that we liked about it was that in this exhibit the bodies were not all quote unquote you know conventionally attractive you had um hairy bodies you had big plus bodies you had a lot of queer representation and yeah. i really really appreciated that because what is heteronormative, you know? Like, I'm very happy that the museum incorporated things that were not heter heteronormative. And we really- Or fat phobic. Or fat phobic, or, or, or just one lens of what sex is, is supposed to be. So that's something that we definitely appreciated. And we spent a lot of time at this exhibit just absorbing in all of the information. Yes, and now we're getting into this really beautiful tunnel which came after another kind of movie like sequence mm -hmm. that was more like cartoonish and animated like it was kind of giving us a history of just different like views of sex throughout the centuries and after that like the doors open up behind you and there's this tunnel filled with color and different patterns and soon you will be you will see how sierra and i used this to our advantage and how much fun we had and it was so fun and it was so just it was so interesting and if you look behind me there's these little cubes that you put your head into and there are movies of different like how can facts i explain yes different facts and different videos explaining how like sex, sex has evolved throughout the ages yes and in different cultures as well and that was really 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 interesting um and yes we were all covid safe you really couldn't you could not get in without a mask um so definitely have that in mind but yes, now, now we here's the show. To, we're about to slay. Here's okay? our own exhibit. Yes, watch this. Give it a sec. And bam. We had so much fun. I felt like this was our runway. We were like, who's stopping us? Who's topping us? We are here. And everything about this 
this tone it was just so beautiful like look at the lights also we put a disclaimer in the description if you have light sensitivity then we're gonna definitely note the times that this part comes up but yeah we were just slaying throughout our whole trip to the museum and now Azay is killing it she's about to give pose after pose after pose okay 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 and I really feel like the lights changed when we struck our poses. It was just, look at the timing. Look at the synchronicity. Like, it's giving. It was giving everything it was supposed to give, you know? And now she is strutting back. And I had to do it one more time for the one time. Yeah, we spent a lot of time just in this tunnel alone. And what happened? What happened while we were in the tunnel? Yes, yeah, so literally we could have spent all day here, but literally one of the directors of this part of the museum was like, yeah, y'all, um, this stops like every five minutes, so you have like 30 more seconds to get whatever y'all are doing out here, but the lights are definitely about to shut off, and I suggest that you move on to the next part of the museum. We were like, dang. So, good thing we got our flicks when we did. We had to move to the next part of the museum, and this is literally right after the tunnel. And um, now... It's we're like in, a little hallway, oh. and now we're going into Funland. Yes, and we did not capture all of the cool arcade games and stuff like that because we wanted to have fun, and some of the stuff you really have to, like, play with both hands. And first of all, let's get into it. Azay killed this bull ride. Like, she absolutely did not fall at all, and I'm like, that could not have been me because it was really hard. It was literally trying to throw me off. Like, do not let this video for you i was like look my leg my leg uh muscles really had Strong. to come in come in come into play because i'm like first of all i'm not falling i'm in a dress i'm in a museum i don't know who has who has stepped over this carpet i'm not playing with y'all i'm not falling and i did not fall now if you put me on a ball in one of them texas restaurants where they be really wilding maybe it'll be a different story but now here's the what was the objective of this game oh my god you had to get this lady to the big o and i felt cheated because i got her to the big o the first time and i was waiting for my prize but then the second time when the lady came around she's like oh you know just do it again and i didn't get my prize so i feel like the game was rigged and I should have got my prize because y'all see the lights lit up. I did what I was supposed to do. I know what I'm doing. But you know, what was interesting was that there was this little uh, QR code that you could scan with your phone. And it's like a... Like you a gift. Yeah, you, like, you can get a gift. And Sierra got that one. And, she, and I think the lady gave her like candy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, here's me playing this uh, RuPaul, RuPaul game. game. You had to match your body to the images on the screen. And if you got all 10 poses, you got a prize. And I literally did it twice and i only got like nine out of ten poses the last time i did it speaking of nine out of ten we will definitely give this trip a 10 out of 10 so this is the end of the video thank you guys so 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 much for watching if you guys like what you see please be sure to like comment and subscribe and we really had so much fun we hope that you guys get a chance to visit and we will see you all next week bye, bye.